I'm Jacob Perrin, and this is my YouTube channel, Me Plus You Plus Disney Plus. And I am V excited because today I am starting a new series on Disney Plus that I have not watched yet. I can't believe I haven't watched it, but the time is finally here. So when I first launched my YouTube channel, I really wanted to do both High School Musical, the musical, the series, and this current show that I'm about to watch. But confession, part of the reason I haven't done this show yet is because I secretly thought it was gonna be terrible. <laughs> I really want to keep things positive on my channel and I want it to be authentic and genuine and I don't want to pretend to like something if I think it's bad so I thought let me just hold off on that until I hear whether or not it's good. <laughs> the reviews are in and I have literally not heard a single bad thing about this show. I've heard that it's unbelievably heartwarming, even my toughest of Disney critic friends love it. So I'm gonna give it a shot and the series that I'm going to now be reacting to on my channel is Encore. So like, let's be real, like, this is very on brand for me. It's a musical theater show. It's about bringing people back from high school to redo their high school musical that they put on. And apparently it's amazing. One more thing before we start this episode, I'm really excited to watch this because I found out that this first episode was filmed at the theater that I grew up doing shows at my whole life. The theater is called Moonlight. The actual venue, I guess, is the Moonlight Amphitheater. The company is Moonlight Stage Productions. They're celebrating their 40th anniversary this summer. My first show that I did there was Peter Pan when I was 10 years old, and then I did Ragtime, Beauty and the Beast, and Susical, 42nd Street, it's Crazy for You. I met my boyfriend doing a show at Moonlight. It's a very, very, very special place to me. So I'm so excited to see this episode filmed at Moonlight, but I'm glad I got that spoiler ahead of time because it's made me really excited to watch this first episode. Without further ado, oh my God, sorry. No, there's actually one more thing. So there were two more things. Now there's one more thing. The other reason I'm excited to watch this first episode is because because Annie was the very first musical I ever did in my entire life. It's kind of ironic that Annie is the first musical of the series, but Annie is so many people's first musical that it's it makes sense. I did it at this youth theater in San Diego that was run by the crazies. And actually, the reason that I even discovered Moonlight is because they were a professional theater and they ran a youth show. And after this youth theater that I did Annie at, got so crazy, my parents were like, we're not dealing with that anymore. We gotta find a new theater for the kids to do shows at. So then we went to Moonlight and started doing shows there. So the connection between Annie and Moonlight is very funny. So here we go, the first episode of Encore. Why would you do Annie in your high school? Did they do it with high schoolers playing these orphans? <laughs> oh, San Diego, I miss home. Oh, what a handsome man. Oh, how cute. Oh my god, this is Santana High School. Oh, okay. Wow, they all like live very close by still to San Diego. Even Vegas is not that far. Vista, California! Oh, yes. Come on, queen. Oh, he's so cute! Oh, she's adorable too. I love this because there really is just nothing like the feeling of doing theater when you're that age. You're so impressionable and it's so special. Wow, everybody on the show so far is so likable. We have a thing in my show that anytime you drop a credit from your resume, you clap. For Marsha. He's like the Troy Bolton of high school, can't show up to rehearsal. So where they're auditioning was where I had my very first audition for Moonlight when I was 10 years old. So you gotta hang on till tomorrow. So you gotta hang on till tomorrow. I'm off, he says. Oh, that's so sweet. Wow, I'm already really emotional and we're, I think we're 10 minutes into the episode. I love how willing everybody is to sort of like just dive in head first to this. Is that their drama teacher? Oh, Marsha doesn't need a co-director. Mrs. Greer? Oh my god. Aww, how cute. Oh, so she went to New York. Maybe it's gotta be one of the best songs written for musical theater. It's such a good song. Oh, she loves it. She loves singing. <gasps> oh, they're on the stage of Moonlight! Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. This theater means so much to me, you guys. Oh! They dated? Oh my god. 
Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> Mike, Bethany, Ricky. <laughs> oh, those are my friends. <laughs> oh wow, they're staging the show. Ugh, look at that gorgeous amphitheater, you guys. Can you memorize where that feels? Yes! Oh, that's it! He found his voice! This show is destroying me. Look how cute he is. Bethany! The drama teacher is shady! Ugh, oh, look at Moonlight! Guys, it's like the best theater ever. Belching Brewery? I don't know where that is, but I want to go. <laughs> the Letterman. I was determined to do all the things that they said I couldn't do. I was determined wow. to go to school. You came that day, though. You were oh my gosh, so if he was in high school and he went through chemo and lost his hair, no wonder he doesn't want to have his head shaved for Daddy Warbucks. So he has, like, PTSD of, like, losing his hair, probably. Oh, she's a good hand again! Honestly, she understands the character of Miss Hannigan more than so many people I have seen play that role. She's right. Miss Hannigan wants to be sexy, and she probably used to be. Oh, he's Bert Healy. <laughs> this costumer is killing me. He's like the Uncle Deadly of the show. That's a Muppet character if you didn't know. Let it out, girl. It's a lot. <laughs> I love seeing how much it means to these people. Oh, that is just like the struggle of rehearsal, right? You literally end rehearsal and you're like, I never want to do this again. And you wake up the next day and you're like, let's do it. Her wig! I look ridiculous. I love that the show is acknowledging, though, that it's like kind of ridiculous that they're doing it, but that's what makes it so fun. Oh. Come on, Debbie, she better sing. He did well. <gasps> Don't you love how honest parents are? Sometimes too honest. <laughs> okay, so they're not actually gonna do the show at the amphitheater. They're doing it at this smaller theater called the Abba Playhouse. And I did shows there. I was in The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, an original musical, Honk, and I was the ugly duckling in Honk. That's where you clap for me. Clap. <laughs> they're gonna make him shave his head. It's because of his cancer. Because you lost your hair in high school. Yes, of course. I make me look like I've got cancer. There it is. Oh my god, I could cry. And then the one thing, and I don't think I really ever fix that. The Alpha Playhouse. They must have fixed her up for this, because girl, she is struggling. <laughs> she was struggling eight years ago when I did a show there. <laughs> Mike. Oh, she is a drama teacher. So fun fact, the overture to Annie starts with a lone trumpet, and the Disney musical that stole that concept was Newsies. I actually love the set looks kind of like hand-drawn and cartoony since Annie was, you know, started as a comic strip in the paper. I love that, I love that for the set. It actually works really well. That's something. <gasps> They're shaving his head. Oh, good for him. That's what theater is, accepting your vulnerabilities and, yes. No eating in costume, he has a plastic bag around his suit. <laughs> I forgot she was the host, She's she introduced it and then she's been nowhere to be found this whole episode. Wow, Chris, I fell! <laughs> oh, her kids. Oh, why am I crying? <laughs> Her kids think it's so funny. She's nailing Miss Anne again. Right. So special. Oh, yes, it's so special. Quick change, quick change. Good Sandy, good Sandy. Oh my God. Not into the audience for little girls. <laughs> this musical director is killing me. Oh my God, the doll is a flask. That's hilarious. I wonder if they stole that concept from somebody. That's brilliant. This is a great little pingy mix. Come on, daddy. <laughs> oh my gosh, his kids. Oh, his daughter waving! I love this song. Yes! <laughs> we nailed it! <laughs> Smart! He has such a nice, like, warm voice.
Wow. That was nothing like I thought it was gonna be, but it was so much better. My head is like swimming, honestly, because I'm so overwhelmed by the show. This show is like Queer Eye Musical Theater Edition. It's so crazy that the first episode was Annie because it was my first show and that it was at Moonlight and uh, the Avo because like so many of my like really special moments um, growing up in theater happened on that very stage that they were performing on. And um, I remember after uh, I made my Broadway debut, my boyfriend asked me, he said, does it feel like Broadway? And I said, yes, it does. In ways you would think and also in ways you wouldn't think. But at the same time, the magic that happens when you put on a musical, it does not matter where you are. I've had magical moments that have happened in a living room with me and somebody playing the piano, singing a song from a musical, or in a youth theater production or a community theater production on Broadway, working at Disneyland. When you put on a show, there's a bond that happens with the cast that can't be described. The best theater is a relationship between what's happening on stage and the audience. And so what I loved was that we get to see the audience's reactions in this show, because for these kids to see their parents or the spouse, so, so special. But what I love is that this show triggers sense memory for all of us that grew up doing theater because we remember, you know, how it felt and, and how special it was. It makes me emotional because being on Broadway is really hard and the athleticism sometimes makes you forget the magic of the art. The magic of theater is something that anybody from any background of any skill set can enjoy and I think that deserves to enjoy. I have a new favorite show on Disney Plus. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Lucky for you, I've already planned ahead. I have some very exciting guests lined up for this series. Theater is a community. It is something to not experience alone, but to be shared. So I'm really excited to introduce you to some of my friends and have us all share in this encore experience together. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Jacob D. Heron. If you don't know me, you do now. I'm Jacob Heron, and we'll see you real soon.